Um, we're on the Mario hype train. So I mean, far, only losing to Airlink. So he's playing really, really well. I mean, I mean, Murr's a very good player. When you when you go against Aerolink, it's not something that you should walk away. I mean, what I'm getting at is that it's it's hard. To yeah, win it's, Aerolink. it's it's really hard. Aerolink, to win Aerolink. Aerolink. Like, really the, good. The bayonetta matchup is hard. The Aerolink matchup is very hard. Yeah, Aer Aerolink Aerolink uh, is like nine yeah. to ten. Most most of the time, if you're Aerolink, you win. <laughs> that's just that's just the sad that's just the sad truth. All right, it looks like we we're having our own little civil war here at uh, at the Source Gaming Lounge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, one thing I would like to mention is I, for some reason, I think Swiggy actually lost out to Murr in Winner's side. I could be mistaken, but I believe Murr took out Swiggy from Winner's. So this could be a uh, bloodbath, a, a rematch, double, but we'll see. A double elimination. It possibly, or it could be a chance for uh, Swiggy to redeem himself. But you're right, this is Civil War 2.0. Ah, oh, that's right, okay. So we lost to the other Mario brother, who was then a little hmm. So, I was wrong. Swiggy actually lost to, uh... Yeah, so, Swiggy actually lost to Steric, who was then eliminated by Murr. My bad. But they're, they're like rock, paper, scissors right now. Yeah. So like, if Murr beats Swiggy, then Murr actually gets rock, paper, scissors. So who? So, there, <laughs> so we got rock, paper, or scissors. Who's done? There's oh. always a gun in the Rock, Paper, Scissors matchup. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Aerolink! Aerolink. the gun in the Rock, Paper, Scissors matchup. <laughs> Took the joke right out of my mouth. <laughs> but, uh, right now, Swiggy's playing very, very, very well against Mir. Diddy Kong just showing how great he can be in this matchup, and Swiggy clearly not uh, too afraid, but Mir charging in, taking the lead right back. Only 2%, but a lead is a lead. He'll take it. Okay, Bear's coming out, try spacing them away. Those those legs are like a sword with how big that range is, how ridiculous that just that this one is. That was a really good pivot grab. Okay, that's side B coming in from Swiggity. Get all the way back, and there was a just reading the neutral get out. Fireball in the palm and dead pivot. <laughs> My goodness. He played that to perfection right there, but we're gonna see a grab up throw up there. Okay, not gonna do the trick off the top. No who has this day. Yep. Alright, looks like Sweetie really wants these F smashes. Just going for them raw. Might need a, a few more down tilts in the work. Or just less up airs against him. And so he's starting to bring this one back. Or, I mean, he's uh, trying to prevent Sweetie from bringing this one back right now. He's doing a great job, but Sweetie already at 9 before. Even if he takes this stock, it's going to be a very, very, very hard fought battle. Wants to take this game. I mean, never sleep on Oh, that down smash! That, that is a out. deadly angle. Okay, is it going to get back? But not, not too low. Well, grab release. I'm not going to do too much against the huh? Alright, I feel like Murr's going to start fishing for the up smashes right about now. Why is that a back air? Up smash. Not going to work out for him, though. Yeah, Murr's playing so well. His ally? <laughs> The young ally and Mer ignited as he went for those. Oh, and that yeah. was actually really good timing on the banana. Kind of. Oh, that was a good Hello. So he dropped the banana right when uh, Mer ran out of invulnerability on the ledge. All right, I think if Swiggy starts slowing down the pace of the match to a crawl, I think he could be able to make it back. But right now it's just looking so difficult for him. Okay, banana's coming out, but Swiggy's gonna hold on to it. Up throw. Not going into the background, does get the forward air on the free run now. And he's doing a good job starting to start to try to bring this one back to even. He has, he's only down by 62, which is the percent that Murr has. So he's doubled Murr's percent, but it's still the game, it's just really difficult. But gets up right into that shield, knows that Elsmash is going to be coming out from there. Okay, forward air. Not going into what he wants. Gonna get the side knee grab out of the shield. It's, He's doing a great job of just not getting hit, and Mercy be falling apart a little bit this second stock here. Yeah, Swiggy is doing very well. I mean, considering that he started oh. the stock at around 80 or so, like he's worked his way back. Sure, he's very close to death, but so, so is so Murr. Mer. <laughs> I mean, they oh no, no from the head of the game. Murr throws away game one like he was a quarterback in the Super Bowl. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Tio staying off the side. He's holding his heart. He can't believe it. He's holding his heart. Oh, he's dropping to his knees. He was with the clutch oh, game one of the century. Oh my God! Sweetie holds on for dear life. 
good. That was so well played by him. You died fast. I'm playing Oh my goodness. Speaking of Murr, you got a game two at a Lilacs. Yeah, so Murr counterpicking the Lilac definitely was not expecting that to bring out a counterpick until game two. So that's kind of heartbreaking for him, but. Who do you, mm, he'll take it, I guess. If you think anyone's going to get lilat in here, just based on the recovery, who do you think it's going to be? Mario or Mario would Diddy? be the one to get lilat I feel, but Diddy Kong can also fall, fall to that. Mer's playing really well, but it's not like he likes to be knocked off the stage too much. Only take the 20% so far. Hit him with the Sheik, start the match at 60. Exactly. Back and forth with the banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, back and forth it's changing the banana there, but... You want this? No, I don't want this. You want this? 38% on her, but clearly Swiggy does not need the lead to steal it away again. Okay, up air, up air, up B coming out. Okay, not gonna kill at the top. Not sure about that DI, but uh, not high enough percent to kill. Yeah, Lila a little bit too tall for that one kill. Swiggy also a pretty good DI, I would say. Lila is, actually seems to be messing with uh, Swiggy's forward airs. They're just going straight over uh, Murr. Yeah. So what I've noticed is every time Swiggy grabs Mana, Murr starts spamming Cape like it's the only move he has on Mana. Yeah, he's actually been and using that a lot. It's definitely something to watch out for because it becomes really susceptible to punishes. And after your Cape goes away, you can't hit him with the Mana afterwards like Swiggy has started doing. But It's just like the Mana have smashed. There is ending lag. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Swiggy's starting to bring this one back again. 50% separate the two. Oh, gets up into the up smash. He's barely misses out on that one. Okay, we're gonna jump uh, air dodge through it. Getting out of the uh, ledge traps. Uh oh! Up smash, not gonna okay, seal it out. Smash, not gonna do it again. Throws up the mana, looking to hit uh, Murder on the down swing. That does. Side B coming out in this game is exactly even for the most part. One percent lead for Murder. Time him out, I say. One percent can make all the difference, though. Exactly, this time him out. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the classic comic clash phrase. Uh -oh. Time him. Okay. Oh, Mer runs in for an up smash, but gets answered by an up smash from Swiggity instead. There's, there's a, uh, what was that, a tech chase in that mm -hmm. case? Because he, he landed on the platform, missed the tech. Yeah. I mean, that, that was really good. Forward throw, not going to do trick. Uh, oh, down air, rising down air, also not going to do it. Oh my goodness, Mer trying for anything, finally hits that up air, and it is an even game again. 0% on each player's stock, but this is Mer's turn to stock. Hitting him with the clan shoes, finishing yeah. it off. Exactly. I didn't realize there's no shoes, right? <laughs> I'm looking at them. And then with the Mario. Okay, down throw to back airs coming out from uh, Swiggity. It's an even game again. Swiggity's looking to take this one. Ooh, falls on his own banana there. Up airs, chains from Murr. Ooh. He's with a nair. Okay. Nice and you to finish off the combo. Yeah, interesting mix up there. Oh no, the dash tag gonna get the ledge. Ooh, oh God. my goodness. Yeah, it's... Takes two. That was very unfortunate, actually. Yeah, I mean... And Mario's dash tag is known for uh, for stage spiking people due to its uh, weird properties. Right? Yeah, so... Uh, it looked like Swiggy was put into a situation where he had to do a frame one tech, but I'm not positive if he could have tech that. I don't know if he could have. It looked like he could have. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, those are. I mean, those are like near impossible to to finish off on a just just by reaction. Yeah. Yeah, one frame techs are already hard enough to hit. You only have one frame. Doing that off reaction when you think you're safe on a ledge definitely even harder. Than it. <laughs> okay, Swoody, uh hovering over the pair, player three slot. Is he uh yeah. is he looking to to bur to to call in a line? Something? No, apparently not. <laughs> Bring it back to. No, not bringing it back. Bringing it to town and city. Yeah, he was definitely thinking about switching on Mitsu there, and I'm really glad he's here with Diddy Kong. He's been pretty dominant on Diddy Kong. Uh, kind of just got cheesed out there with the dash attack, but it's all right. Missed the first banana. Not how sure. Not sure how this is going to translate to the rest of the set. Yeah, and Diddy without banana in hand is not not a Diddy at all. Yeah, I mean you, you lose so much of everything if you lose that banana on Diddy Kong. But, I mean, you right don't, now he's in the lead, so he's, he's fine you, with it. You don't lose the back airs, apparently. Yeah, no, you don't lose the grab confirms the back airs. It's not tech roll away or in some Murder Swans can grabs him, and now, oh my goodness, Mario's up air combos are just so killer. It's Sw ridiculous. Swiggity being saved by the taxi platform right there. Ooh, not it's, sure how that banana worked. Yeah, that banana like kind of fell off the shield, and that was kind of unfortunate for Murder there, but not going to get punished super hard. In fact, only gets uh, punishes on Swiggity for it. Okay, it's not grab the banana. He's just rolling back and forth around it. Finally gets hit. I mean, I'm sure. Throws the banana up. 
Swiggity can definitely take this. He just really needs to slow the game down. He needs to slow it back down. He's playing well, but two aggro. And without banana. Fireballs. This man is without a banana. And there's not And without a face. stop. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. So Murr's looking to bring this one back. He was really uh, upset about losing out in the game one. Uh, he was in such a huge lead, but we'll see if uh, he's put into the same situation if he's able to keep together this time. Up tilt's coming out. Re grab, okay. Four on the fade. I, th I think the Mario. Oh, oh, no way! Okay, get dunked. Oh my goodness. Double back air to forward air. So no, you wouldn't think that was true. Murr, Murr went from one professional sport to another within two games. He went from a quarterback in the NFL to NFL to, like, Shaq in the NBA. I mean, oh my goodness. I, I mean, that he, man was crazy. The man was playing Smash and then he started playing, like, what, 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 what's that song from Space Jam? Everybody good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oof. I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back. And I'm going to be holding down the fort solo, looks like, for the next conceivable future. Hey. Hey, Chet, how you doing? Not actually looking at you, but hey, it's been a while. Isn't that a song or something? It's been a while. Alright, looks like next up we're going to be getting Antoine versus Prophet. Uh, Antoine was a... I, I want to say he was a... I know it's not... I know I'm wrong here, but I think Antoine might have been a Link. Either that or a Midnight. I'm not sure. But Prophet was just on... I cannot remember who Prophet was. Hoping to enlighten you with that knowledge in the near future. Uh, Antoine was a fox, actually. And Prophet... Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Prophet is Captain Falcon. I'm just jumping in here for a moment while uh, Cow is away. Appreciate the help. Of course. Hey. Of course. Hey, Alex. How's it going, Crispy? Doing pretty good. Nice. Hey, Alex. Yes. Nice tournament. Thank you. It's yours. Thank you, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we try. Yeah, I like it. Uh, H hooking us up with the drinks and the, yeah. and the setup and the fairly nice mic. I mean, we got a clean setup. For only uh, two people running it, I think. It goes all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice. Hey, what you yeah. got there? You drink. Vodka. Vodka? And strawberry sun kiss. <laughs> hey, hook me up. Uh, <laughs> ID. Hook me up. No. You are underage, Pope. Get out of here. Damn it. <laughs> all right. Uh, Cal, back on the mic. I am back on the mic. Look at Without me Without vodka, apparently. Without vodka. <laughs> but uh, I have my uh, Dr. Pepper made with sugar. Real sugar. I'm going to stay stuff, so shout out to Dr. Pepper. Hey, Real Sugar Squad? Ooh. Hey. Uh, tastes pretty good. Big fan. Are you ever just, like, kind of drinking, and then, like, as it tips back, like, the water just drink, like, goes up in 